whole fucking thing is fucked. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. That is a good question. Where is everyone? So we're gonna go talk to something. Tessa? Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. That is true. Walking on by. Ooh. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? What are you shopping for? What, what do we need? Honestly. Maybe some food? Okay, well, I'm just gonna go to Tessa. Okay, I guess I'm going in. Hey, yo, Tom, it's me, it's your boy. What the fuck happened to this place? Was we there carpet mean, here before? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Oh, okay, Alice, Look, I thought you were Harold, shopping. I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's <clears throat> case file. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Uh, Tessa reported Marianne. Oh, fuck gonna drop the bomb on my boy Tom like that? Look, Tom had no part of this, okay? He didn't do anything. He's just here. I mean, look at him. Just a, he's just a, you know, he's just Tom. He didn't do anything. So we'll just ask him a nice little light question first. Why did first. Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Hmm. She dropped the bomb on him now. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay, Tom. Tom playing the Tom game, huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, Tom pretending like, hey. oh, I wish I didn't do you. anything. Look, I'm sorry <laughs> if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Yeah, exactly. We need the truth to heal. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? I was just nodding his head, bro, like, hey. fuck this. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, yeah, Tom, you get so going, you crazy little kids, kid. Was there, uh... Anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any no. rumors about our mother? No. Like, who her father might have been? I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. Huh. So now we're going to find out who our father is? Oh, okay. Look, look I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. 
Okay, Tom. You uh, be like that. Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. <laughs> sure thing, boss man. Yeah, look at Tom go. Look at that. Look at that. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? No. Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Wow. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Oh. Hey, tell you what. She... Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. I feel like it'd be kind of mean. Tell me when you're done. Sure if, thing. Um, Just give me a sec. If we went there, you know, I don't know. I feel like it'd be kind of harsh. Let's see. Let's talk to. Where'd that question me. about our father come from? Yeah, I'd like to know that too. Honestly. Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Uh. Hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Should we not go? Uh, I don't want to, like, not, not go, but I don't know. I know, but I'll be there too, and Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well... We need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. All right, all right, all right. Are those fat beavers with, like, inflatable rafts? Or is that a bear? No, I think that's a bear. Never mind, then. It's a bear. Oh, let's go snooping in the office again. I mean, I think we've... I don't think there's anything we can interact with here. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right. Well, clearly there's not anything here. So he said he was storage room? I guess that's in the back, yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa! This place is a lot bigger than it looks. Alright. I already counted there. Oh, but I just need you on. to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Fuck yeah I am. <laughs> Your job's not that hard. I don't really want to say that. Alright, Michael climbing. works hard. Okay. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Alright. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Molto Bene, just tomato sauce. Okay, cool, fam. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Oh, that is the tomato sauce. That's paint, it looks like. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Let me count this. Fuck me, I actually have to fucking count. Uh, I'm seeing 16 cans of tomato sauce. That many? You sure you only counted the tomato cans? Ah, shit. I got cocky. It's actually 14. Look, I'll let that one what? slide uh, just because it's you. Let's say you do on the next one. There's specific the cans? The bottles of bleach for me? Oh shit. Uh, where is it? And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay. Dude, I would say it was okay, joking. Okay. So puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Oh, there it is. There's bleach right there, fam. Oh, that's an. Easy six right there. Easy. This is six. why I took math class, right. bro. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What, man? Seems like you could have just walked around and done this, okay? What's up? What do you need help with? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Is he doodling, bro? Is he doodling while I'm doing his job? <laughs> Is that supposed oh to be me? God. Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? <laughs> Yo. The proportions, bro. They're fucking 
off. Yeah, there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, <laughs> I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get. <laughs> ah, fuck, dude. Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. Honestly, so, Michael, it looks like ass, okay? Like That's my honest opinion. What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, let me go look around. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box oh, over there? There's another thing, there's another thing. All right, one sec, one sec. I found okay. another wooden thing, bro. <gasps> Is that yes. the mangy muskrat? Oh, another one. It's Remy from Ratatouille. Yo, this is wild, guys. Remy from Ratatouille is in the game. Confirmed Disney crossover. Uh, Let's look at these. I just realized I never did look at the moose, too, did I? No, I did not. The stalwart moose is a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. Hmm. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. Interesting. Huh. Why can't I sit? Okay, let's You're do tired it. tired already? No. Psh. No. What's this? Is that what? a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> for the record, that was wow. Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. He's That's very, Batista. very hot. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. I'm yep. sorry. I see it. Are those plushes of Tom, my boy? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, oh my god. Kung Fu Panda. I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Damn. Alright, let's count these fucking... So... Horrible, but... No, they're actually f terrible. Oh, they're like Tom Mayer vote. Psst, Tom, my guy. Dude. They're scary, man. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, yes, sir. That's an uh, easy eleven. You've got about eleven left in that box. <clears throat> Did I get it wrong? Michael? What the fuck? Where'd he go? Ow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, sorry. Scared the shit out of me, Michael. Too bro. tempting. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, we're getting in. Oh, we're Lesson getting in. number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool? Okay. <sighs> He's looking there. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I see. I see. Come on, peek, you little shit. Oh my god, we just... Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? Damn, overshot it. Fuck. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Change cover, change cover. Go, 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 go. You just wait. You just wait, you motherfucker. Yes, you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Where did he go, bro? Where did he fucking go? Boom. Oh, I just have to press A, lol. Um. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, well, thank you. I'm good looking? <laughs> Question mark. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. You're really not, but hey, fam, that's all right. All right, go back over here. Come on, hey. Oh, you little shit monkey, bro. Damn, overshot it. 
Oh, I see. I have to be closer to actually. Okay. Boom, bop, boop, boop, bop. Boom. Boom. Get One more hit, and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. <laughs> Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Wait, is he gonna peek? Come on, Michael. Oh, there he is. Oh shit. Uh, excuse me? No. Yo, we better wrap this up soon. Dude, I'm trying, but you're being a little shit and not peeking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeet! Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the right golden Right in the fucking well, face. I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. <laughs> Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The, the what? Bitch's grotto? That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. So, yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty fucking nice. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty freaking nice. Take a nice little look in the fridge here. Oh, hey, see that container? Yeah, that's for you. I do. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Oh. Filled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Okay, I guess I'm not taking it. Okay, well, cool. Thanks, man. I won't be eating it, though. <laughs> Take a nice seat. Nice. Oh, hello. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man. Must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno <clears throat> working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. And what about mm. you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Uh, can I answer? I don't know. Guess I can't. Okay, cool. Oh, I can actually read the posters. Oh. No way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. <laughs> we just totally to brushed over that conversation. All right. Uh oh god. Uh uh uh, uh I, don't, I don't know what he said. I was too busy talking. All right, you know what's up? You listen to his earlier stuff, The Dark Arc of Destiny? <laughs> Not yet. It might be a bit experimental for me though. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. One of the songs is like nine minutes of the same MJG drum machine sample. Fucking brilliant. Wow, damn. <laughs> but not for everyone. And I'm done. All right, I guess that was it. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was <laughs> born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me, so. Why is it mm -hmm. so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything <clears throat> about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. 
You're well, pretty thank you. Oh, oops. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself, Michael. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Oh, so I wasn't shit. blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours, too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pull me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> yes, Honestly, sir. Yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. <laughs> We're not looking for the same thing. Damn, all right. Just say you're swell, too. <laughs> Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Damn. I've been standing at that counter Michael for and Tyler getting it on. You two dum dums to come back. Allison, 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 Are take you guys it ready easy. to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's. Damn. Wild. Ooh. <sighs> Here we are. Oh no. This will not be pleasant, I think. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You big can't miss crooked it. tree, okay. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. So you'll be okay, Allison. All right, you got Tyler. You got myself. I mean, I'm here too. Look at me, crazy. Just so cool. Who am I? All right, I'm Tyler. So pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Oh, okay, just ignore me then. Hey, go back here. Looks like there's something up here. Kinda wanna check it out. Where are you going? Oh, so, wait, never mind, I guess I'm not going. <laughs> oh, I can go up there and check something out, but I guess not. I never wanted to come back here. Yeah, that makes two of us. Walking over the bridge. Where the hell did Michael go? Did he go the other way? He's like freaking gone, man. So, crooked tree. Should we go this way? Graves are back that way. Oh, okay, I guess we're not going that way. So, I don't know, man. Did you ever come back? Keep it down. Better? Sorry. Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. It's probably just a mirror neuron thing. Oh what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Uh oh, getting a memory. Mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Well, I want to read it, but they kept talking. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. 
It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Hmm. She loved us. A lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But Maybe. I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Hmm. I think that. Hear me out now. What if their father was in one of these graves? Now, could be a possibility, right? That's all I'm saying. Could be a possibility. That's why they came a lot. So, I don't know. Maybe, right? Who knows? Uh, really don't want to read this, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, to the other side. Uh, this is National Ally of Native Religious and Ways Live. Much of our knowledge, the old ways. Uh, okay, just okay. I don't really want to read that stuff because I don't really want to. <laughs> but that is very interesting that it came here a lot. So oh, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. Not this one. Okay. My guess is it's probably this one because she just came here, so she probably just recently put flowers here. Come on, there you go. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Maybe? Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Oh no. We're gonna get a memory. Yep. Where is it? Where is this memory? Ah! Hello, hello. Do we really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day is Shit. Normal. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> Big Crookedy. Because <laughs> we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. <laughs> Interesting. So I can just look at other people's graves. It's a whale, this one. And a fishing rod. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going down. Oh. Oh, it's Michael. How the hell did he get here so fast? Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, shit. Okay. I was like, do we disturb him or do we just leave him be, you know? But, okay. So. Guess we will. How are you, um, holding up? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. 
Don't mind me. Stop I'm not it. really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. Your old Whoa, news Whoa, Michael. You Come on. Allison's a beautiful flower. So, can I help you guys out somehow? Um... Talk to you later. Uh, let's see about this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. Oh, shit. Uh... What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. Okay. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Interesting. Nope, shit. What's the I didn't... story behind the Clinkett Memorial? No, I didn't mean to click it again. Of our dearly no. departed, never be lost. <laughs> I did not mean to click it again. Of the... History. I panicked. I clicked too fast. Uncle William. <laughs> no. Lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted the room for. Fuck! I can't skip it, man. Shit about ethics. That's... Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God, assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Okay, thank you. I'll stop bugging you. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Uh, let's ask what was, how was, like, what was his so uncle what like? what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> yes, that. I do. I think I'm getting the picture, honestly. I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet, you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. <laughs> you and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push just buttons without even trying. My family was <laughs> old school Clinkett. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <laughs> Ooh, I volunteer for taste testing. Can't wait to try the marinade. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. Yeah, I'll say that. Can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. <laughs> Wouldn't you uh, like to know, weather you? boy? <laughs> Turns before hose, Michael. Turns before a hose, Michael. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, all right, talk to you later. Talk to you later. You bet. Let's go, Allison. Let's go, uh, pay our respects to Marianne, our mother. So, Walking around. How are you, um, holding up? Oh, okay, Sometimes they're just gonna keep talking. Do not step on graves, so of course. Of course, I'm not gonna step on graves. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Do you remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Oh, get a memory. Get a memory! Wait, is it memory? Memory? Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going! Allison! Oh, shit. Come back! <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally what gone. Is this? At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh, okay, I see. Oops. There we go. Remember. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. 
shit. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. What? Oh, you're getting two versions here. Okay. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I might have to go with Allison, dude. I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. I'll be back Shoes, soon, Allison's all right? Right. Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Oh, he didn't really say that, did he? I'll be back. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice. I really feel soon, like. All right. I really. I'm gonna have to go with Allison again, I think, because this just this one just right? sounds more believable. Promise. Just sounds like something Tyler would Chief say. Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. About to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> Not today. Not today, bitch. Snap those fucking fingers. I'm a sassy motherfucker, bitch. This spot's familiar. You think Snowball like still one. lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Oh, it's a bur. Oh, it's like rest a. Rest in peace, Snowball. Oh, okay. That's all I can say, I guess. Oh, this is Eddie's. Uh, Eddie's mom? Was it? I think so. <laughs> Man, I forgot how hard Marianne took it when Brown's mom died. Well, we were only four, but yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was oh, saying I see. how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think Aww. her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Before I go up there, wait, who's this? <gasps> Tessa. Tessa's there. You see that? She's right there, laddie. She's right there. Before I go up there, though. Ty. What's up? This, this is it. Right. Oh shit! Well, yeah. shit. I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. I wanna see your grave before we go. Oh, okay, I see. So I'm just gonna take a look. No dice. <laughs> no dice. Not hers. Oh, I see, I'm looking for hers, okay. Looks as if I can keep walking. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I thought it. I thought so. Um, which one would be hers? This one? This might take a while. They're all snowy, man. I can't see anything. Could be this one. Oh, I can't actually click on that one. Never mind then. Okay, I'm gonna click on these ones then. She's gotta be here somewhere. Not this one. Still not the one. Huh. Did I not click on like all of them? There's some here. Oh, there she is.
shit. That's tough, man. Allison. <clears throat> Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam oh. Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Oh, Tessa. Tessa. Like, are you fucking kidding me? All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Whoa, you destroyed our families. A little, a little harsh, I think. Uh, yeah, you could have done better. Honestly, yeah, you could I have done better. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Mm -hmm. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been 
hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Yeah, no, I'm down. I'm done losing people. Yeah. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Yeah. I just don't like Eddie. <laughs> I don't like Eddie. <laughs> that was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Yeah, I think she needed to hear all that, though, you too. Shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book stuff? I borrowed six Whoa, months ago. Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay. Sitting down, are we? Guess I'll sit, too. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. I know why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. Whoa, that was weird. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, <clears throat> Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Yeah, stop putting yourself down. Nothing. Honestly, Allison. You're... You've been working on that accounting degree. Yeah. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, yeah. wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not going to be for a while. We've got time. Oh, yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... she gave up but killed her kids really i don't know it still feels like there's something missing right? yeah no there definitely is <laughs> something's not adding up still something is still missing you're never gonna understand what was going through her mind i'll bet even she didn't It's probably always going to feel that way. 
Maybe. But I say we get to the bottom of it. Something's still not adding up. Well, with the whole Sam thing, too. Sam and Marianne. There's something going on between those two, I think. And the whole Mad Hunter oh. seeing it. Ooh, I'm gonna there's fall asleep going on the that. second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. <laughs> do no. we have to? Hey, whoever I don't packs want the to. most gets the big caps tonight. Oh. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. What the fuck? <laughs> go, 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 go. Who the fuck? Who, who, who? Oh shit, Jesus. That scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh, fuck. Who the fuck is that? Tyler. Tyler, are you alright? No. Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Jesus, that actually, like, fucking got me, man. That scared the shit out of me. What happened? Oh my god. What happened? There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Whoa, what is this? I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to find out. What's this? Hey, come check this out. Is Something there down here. Box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm going to need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. Did he really have to smash everything? Dude, I... So, did Chief Brown teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Rad. God. He went looking under the rug? Really turned this place upside down. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. I mean, Sam said he had keys for it. I don't know. He's being a little suspicious about it. Well, at least he left us the junker. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I want to say Sam, but I don't know. Oh, the perfect crowbar. Just what we needed. Guess we know how he made the hole. <gasps> another, is this another thing? <gasps> it is. Huh. Take it. At least you were spared. Moon hag. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Yeah, fucker. I want to say it's Sam, but, you know, I don't know. Oh, no, he missed one. The moon hag. The Oops. moon hag is an old and powerful witch. She lures her innocent victims deep beneath the ice and traps them there forever. Whoa. It's a little fucking spooky. Shit, we missed one, though. Found the muskrat. Oh, there was probably one in the, uh... Oh, no, in the fucking... Damn, we missed one. Yeah, I think it was It was probably at the uh, cemetery. Shit. That sucks. All right, let's remove this. Remove! Step back. I'll be fine. Oh man, this wood might fly. What the hell is this? It's a very weird looking box. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. What's that there? Some kind of carving. 
Not sure what it is, though. It's like a an eye with a, a key. Like a lock. Oops. Meant to do this. It's gonna be one of these. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. Okay. In the picture? Or do we have to read it? Because goddamn, I don't want to fucking read. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I guess we'll read it. Oh my god. Oh! Fuck me. Uh, the goblins earned their voice. Once upon a time, in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get the people's secrets? Do you... Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out. That's disgusting, uh, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her. Um, head hanging low. It was my fault. It was my fault. I chose the un uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into stalwart moose's eyes though the goblins couldn't hear anything they knew she was speaking to the moose for the secret keeper spoke uh spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice after a few minutes the stalwart moose blinked i feel lighter said moose did i just give you something the secret keeper nodded handing him a coin the stalwart moose nodded and and uh, plodded along down the trail he spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes. He knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. Um, okay. Just making sure I uh, didn't miss anything here. Uh, I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could s stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver hand, uh, hand, handled hairbrush. Hairbrush, what the fuck? Okay. Silver handled uh, hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled upon a cliffside to her death. Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Interesting. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she find, for she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. What the hell? Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out, as if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured down their hand. Uh, oh, sorry, tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, see the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange? They asked. I'll give you back the silver handheld brush, a uh, hairbrush, offered, offered the secret keeper for so many secrets. Psh, psha. You'll have to. Uh, You'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of voice? The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. Whoa, interesting. The crafty goblin gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. 
There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was a blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the secret keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. There were no numbers in this bitch, so how the fuck am I supposed to do that? I couldn't tell you. Honestly, I, think I don't. think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. And preferably without destroying the box. Yeah, probably. That sucks. Could it be, like, hidden in this picture? I don't know. Maybe? I think I just need to break it. I, I genuinely don't think... Could use this. We could use the fire extinguisher. Just fucking bash on. Really built to last. Yeah, could work. Could work. All I'm saying is it could potentially work. Got to be something in here, right? Oh, here we go. Bolt cutters. Fuck it. I don't know what the code is. Yeah, that'll break a lock. Yeah, because I honestly don't know what the code would be. So, my guess is it's... Maybe we're not even supposed to figure it out. Well, we still have the option to unlock it, but I genuinely couldn't tell you. I really, really don't. We're just going to cut it. Just going to go for it. Let's not time. Yeah. Just cut it. I don't know what else to do. There you go. Easy peasy. Didn't have to break it. Easy enough. Open her up. See what we have here. Ooh. I think she didn't know how much of an things to read. To Dear Marianne, I needed to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the all the new girls in in Dell's Crossing. Uh, who is writing this though? Okay, anyways, whatever. Um, I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing it 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right, and we both have a lot of a lot to lose, but or a lot a lot to a lot of loss. Where did he even come from? I didn't notice any cars on the way in. He bailed behind the barn. After that, your guess is as good as mine. Should be easy to see where he went because of the snow, right? Unless, you know, he was wearing hover shoes. Oh, we're gonna chase him after? Okay, one second. Let me, let me finish this. Let me just finish that. <laughs> but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same way. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I want to read the other one. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. That's rough. Fuck. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you this, feel... This guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. Whoa. Even though she wanted to keep us. Sorry, uh, you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have... To go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Oh, so, yeah, I think it's Marianne uh, played a food around with married men, like, uh, um, like Tessa said. And it That's looks everything. like what the they hell? fooled around a little too much. Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Oh, he came for these letters, you think? He turned the Probably. whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he yeah, was willing I to burn so. down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... 
I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. You think it's Sam? At least I'm pretty sure that's his name. I'm hoping. <laughs> um, what? We're getting a memory? Where? Where? Where's this fucking memory? The oh, fuck, bro? Uh. Oh, it's out here. What's this? forgotten anything about that night I would have said the same thing but something felt different I need to see the rest but you know what happens down there that's the thing I'm not sure I do <sighs> all right let's go okay some kind of work boot maybe fishing boots <laughs> maybe maybe this is where I tripped Oh, I see. Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just. I, I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? Yeah, it was the Mad Hunter. He was like standing right here. Oh my god. Oh, that was terrifying. He like came at us at the screen. No. That that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? At night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah. Unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe. Was he? Hold on. Do you feel that? Uh, I do now. Actually, not really. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. What the fuck is this? Whoa. The trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. What the hell is he that? He really didn't want us to figure out who he was. Well, he's been avoiding us for 20 years, so. Well, that he has. What's his memory, man? There it is, I see it. Wait, what? At least I thought it was Tyler, there. I'm not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? Look, what Allison, if it's... we gotta find out, okay? I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. <sighs> just one more time, man. Just one more time, Allison. Just please. One more time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. Oh, okay, you just push awesome. and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But... I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. 
But I swear, I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. Fuck, man. I'll do it. Let's go. Thank you, Allison. Some weird ass shit going on, man. All right. Let's watch it. Uh oh. You can do it. Don't let go. Ouch! Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. Don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Oh, oh. What's going on? Oh, who is that? I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. She had a fight with him on the docks? Come on, baby. Come on! Let's go, remember. I make sure I've been keeping my mouth shut. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it. We're so close, though, just Allison. Just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is going to change that. But I want to know. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only going to get worse. Guess we're not gonna find out. That sucks. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! Whoa. If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Oh, that was chapter two. Crazy. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh, that was a crazy chapter. I quite enjoyed chapter two. I think a lot more than chapter one. That was that. Ooh, we're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere now. 
I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, okay. Let's see what we've uh, chose. Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. Uh, chose Tyler's memory and 47. I chose Allison's memory, yeah. Hmm. Um, Tyler felt hurt, uh, hurt about needing time when Allison refused the house. Yeah, I refused the house. I was like, fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Allison felt out, let down when Tyler couldn't forgive Eddie. Oh my god, a lot of people forgave Eddie. Wow. Fuck Eddie. <laughs> I did not forgive that asshole. I don't know. I don't like Eddie. I just don't like Eddie. He pisses me off. He just pisses me off. I don't know. Just don't like him. Um, Eddie was sorry that Tyler can forgive him. Yeah, well, fuck you, Eddie. Psh. Oh, you, you little fucking... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Michael, um... 79% accepted Michael's compliment. 21% turned down Michael. How could you turn down Michael? What the fuck is wrong with you? Look at him. He's a beautiful man. Masterpiece. Um, Tessa. Yeah, we forgave Tessa. Although a lot more people than... Uh, like, well, 20% didn't forgive Tissa, because it was, like, the other way around. Well, Eddie, 18. But 82, though, forgave, so. She, okay, then, okay. Yeah, we forgave her, you know, I forgave her. I feel like she's really not a bad person. She just tries to keep, you know, secrets every now and then. So, you know, I do feel bad about that, so. I don't think she's a bad person. What am I looking There's at here? Something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. So it's like a church. Whoa, where are we? Huh. Interesting. Huh. That looks very, very interesting.